Good day, everyone, and welcome to the MGN channel. I'm your host, Cornish. This year's been an interesting year for games and releases. Uh, like, new consoles are out now. The PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, a.k.a. Alexa Desktop. And we've also had the Game Rewards, which, uh, to me... <laughs> I don't know. It's not good, all right? It wasn't good. I, I, there's something going on with those game awards. But in out of all that was the anticipated release of a new game called Cyberpunk 2077. So let's sit back and talk about Cyberpunk 27. This is my personal experience. I've seen a lot of other reviewers really digging on this game and really hating on it. Um, for me, you know, it's not it's not a bad game, all right? I'm enjoying it now after a lot of setting up. That's the only downfall. Well, there is a lot of more. Let's just get into the video and talk about it now. So Cyberpunk 27 is a massive open world. I would say more of like a neon Tokyo style. You know, the bold Blade Runner, uh, Phil. Where you play as a character V who you create as well in the game. And you take on work as a merc to get to the top and try and get that fame your character always wanted. When you start the game off after making the character, you've got three different lifestyles. Uh, you've got Street, Nomad, and the Corp. Now, I didn't pick Nomad or Corp yet. I went straight to the streets because I thought that'd be cool. Uh, as, a, as a fan of Blade Runner, I wanted that kind of busyness in traffic and sitting in a side takeaway eating noodles or whatever. Now, I'm going to dismantle each detail of sections. Uh, there are good and then there is bad. And there is very bad. And then there is things that people are overreacting as well. So let's start with the bad, and that is the graphics and gameplay, because everyone wants to know about the graphics and gameplay itself. Let's let's start off with when I started streaming. I can run any game, pretty much, and I, I've yet to have a game that has defeated me. So from what Cyberpunk said about the system requirements, um, it said my graphics card uh, would be able to run it just on recommended, around 1080p, with high however that was not the case um <laughs> it doesn't like obs very well let's just say that uh, Gork, i owe him don't pay by tomorrow said he bust my legs you don't joke about that but you're saving my life hey that is horrible we get frame rate drops here people Really? Really, game? God, that was this really hard. If I start streaming on OBS, uh, the, it, the game itself will run fine, but it just doesn't shake hands with OBS. And I, 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 like even a lot of other people who had RTXs were having the same problem as me. But unfortunately, after spending three hours trying to fix the problem and people going away from my stream, which was gutting, I had to downgrade my resolution for in-game from t uh, 1920 by 1080 to 1600 by 900, which uh, for me isn't a big hit, but it was, it, yeah, it was a bit disappointing to do that. And then I managed to get the high settings to work. And that's uh, the second problem, which is just minor. Everyone's going completely sparny about it, going spare, is the bugs and the glitches. Now, uh, I have experienced full hand of a lot of bugs and glitches on there. In fact, the worst one was when the mission didn't come up at the start and I spent about three hours doing these random quests and doing random riot breaks and whatever they were on the streets uh, to level up to lev like level six and then coming back to find out my mission's still not there. And uh, that really stressed me out until I quit and went back in the game and then it works. Here. Yeah. He's meant to be here. 
Nothing is here. That was the only major, like, problem for me. However, the, the glitches are just minor, but they're funny glitches, I find, um, which I know for a fact they'll sort out. So I have put together a lovely pile for you wonderful people of uh, the bugs and glitches I have encountered on that game. So without further ado, cue the music. Game? Are you kidding me? He's meant to be here. Nothing is here. Hmm. Your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, baby. See? I can find yourself. Release it for you, but you'd have to. Wait, did I just lose everything? To watch out for negative energy. I've been looking around for about an hour, set. figuring it out. So now I've got that out of the way, let's talk about the story, games, weapons, skills, and everything. Let's, let's, let's get some good positive stuff to this game. Now the game itself is a mix between a really good storytelling. Although without the story, I feel like there's not much to do around the city. Um, as I would expect from an next gen game because like Because the thing is I felt like some of the most of the areas in the game has not really wowed me um, I was expecting a little bit more kind of Blade Runner or that neon feel proper neon feel uh, Yet I get a dull color and just it's just I don't know it, it's not dull, but it's good It hasn't wowed me now my journey throughout the city uh, when I've been doing some random assault missions where I have to do some heavy combat fighting it has been really really cool but with within an, like at least a half hour I get really bored of shooting things because it didn't feel satisfying it just doesn't feel satisfying shooting an enemy on that game for me uh, I don't know if it's just because it's too low level but um, I'd expect a bit more of a satisfying kill in the game so I end up getting bored using the machine guns and the pistols and then I just bring out the katana or any other melee weapon I, I prefer katana because It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool healing things to grab are pretty easy to get to the point that it, It's just Too much too much healing equipment. Uh, I would like a little bit more of a challenging thing uh, I, I think like within a half an hour. I'll go from 25 to 46 uh, health potions and or health kits or health in inhalers i don't know what they're called but they yeah you you get the whole gif oh, well, although the, the weapons were a bit boring for me now let's talk about the actual weapons itself there are, it's okay because although i was bored with weapons uh, as i said with the with the machine guns and handguns they do have some cool perks and variety of different weapons and abilities it has so say for an example uh you can either lock on bullets on enemies with a smart gun or um shoot through enemies through walls or even just have bullets that might be uh, fire bullets or electricity bullets. The attachments are pretty basic, really. Uh, you've got your muzzle and you've got your uh, scope you can buy from any gun shop. But certain higher tier weapons can have mod upgrades on installed on them. And um, it's still, again, it's, it, it's basic. Next up, the customization. <laughs> 
Oh, the customization. Uh, it's okay. Um, when I started, I was not expecting to see a, uh, a genital in front of my face on screen and on stream. <laughs> God. Uh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an 18 plus. I repeat, this is an 18 plus uh, of the Cornish Games Nights. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is an 18 plus stream, people. <laughs> Toasty! Sake! <laughs> I wish there was a option in the settings where you can have a... Like a blur, you know, like Kane and Lynch when they do the whole sensor thing. If they had something like that or Rust, that would be really, really good for the game or an option for it. Uh, unfortunately, I was surprised when um, I was trying to customize my character. Uh, th although the customization is pretty cool and there are different clothes to wear. However, there is a bug which I will not reveal where your penis decides to stick out through the clothes sometimes or there'll be days where you pick your trousers but you look down and there's just this giant hanging thing between your legs which uh is is not good it's not good now, that's something i hope they fix because <laughs> the ban hammer will come at us <laughs> Uh, the skill tree customization for your character is really good. I like it. I really like it because it's not just like one, two, three, or four. You've got your reflexes, your cool, your body, um, etc., etc. And each of the abilities you level up, you can add uh, perks. Um, the the closest thing I can remember uh, of a perk system like that as well is. More of like Final Fantasy when you pick your mani magic on it, and you've got loads of choices to pick from. Um, and that there, I I enjoyed because I could go through so many different routes. I could I could stick to my blades mostly, or I could stick to using assault rifles only, shotguns. Um, I could either upgrade my tactical ability. Let's see what's going on inside. Um, another another important thing in the game is adding cybernetics to you. Um, so, as you can see, so many people wearing metal faces and also different equipment. You can attach implants into your body, um, like syndicate style. You can have upgrades of eyes. Um, you can even uh, have mantis blades coming out of your wrist, which is cool. Um, so, or you can have projectors out your hands instead um, there are also body modifications to increase your strength damage uh, speed health and regeneration and there are many many more around cyberpunk 277 uh, next up is the storytelling now the storytelling is absolutely wonderful i love it i really really am enjoying my time on it and there is different pathways you can take, uh, not just when you start in the game, there are also different options of each mission and storyline you can go through. So say for an example, uh, I had to go and get a special tech from uh, a guy who's stolen from a, a convoy or something. And there is two options, well there's multiple options, but I chose, instead of going in guns blazing and taking out everyone else, I chose the, I chose the simple route and negotiated instead so i walked out there without shooting anyone so my verdict in this uh, game i feel like a lot of people are really butthurt on this game <laughs> ign especially holy god they're just oh god <laughs> but uh yeah th there's minor bugs there's problems like every game that's been rushed uh, i want to make like a, a video i may i actually may do on my actual cornish games channel talking about how games that get rushed just how how yeah pretty much so yeah the, the, uh, for me i'm enjoying the game i'm liking the game there is there is just those problems which can be worked on <laughs>
However, they've offered a refund to anyone who's dissatisfied, and I think anyone who actually goes for that refund is a terrible person. <laughs> and I, I, I know I'm not a nasty person, but you know, you've given get, people have given other game, worse games, a chance for crying out loud. Um, no Man's Sky is one example. One mighty example. Fallout 76 is another example. Yeah, you know, people are giving Cyberpunk a lot of crap over this. And I, I feel like it it's a little bit too much, you know. A bit over the top for um, that kind of thing. But again, as for me, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. Um, although the, the words I've said right now uh, have been a bit picky and I still stand by that. But either way, the storytelling is absolutely wonderful and it still wants me to... I still feel like I want to continue on to that game. And uh, that is it for this review. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit a like on the MGN channel. If you are new and want to see more cool things, uh, please hit that subscribe button. We've got some new review games coming up I want to be planning on doing. Uh, one of them is a new survival... Oh, well. It's, it's a survival game I want to see now. It's 2020. And for when I saw it years ago and my time on it uh, to now, it's... Yeah, it feels like it's time to review it now they've fully released it. But uh, again, at the end of the day, don't be that person. Don't be that butthurt person about it. There will be things happening on the game. There will be changes. And yeah, that's literally all I got to say about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. You take care and have a wonderful day.